Hello everyone, I am Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Castilian colonization campaign in EU4 Mew in Texas. So, this is perfect. There's like a cold war going on in Madagascar. This country is allied with these two powers, and this country is allied with these however many powers that is. The rest of the island. So I attacked on this guy. I'm going to basically just siege my way down here, and once I siege down these guys, I'll just piece them out and eat them. I revoked another privilege from the burgers. And that cost one stability that time. Hey, it's internal conflicts again. My ruler is arbitrary. Oh, that's unfortunate. So that colony is finished. So I only have six. Okay, I only have six colonists. But then, I could probably get, yeah, I could get eight colonies going. And then it would be like six and a half ducats. Alright, I got confused there. I thought I had eight colonists, so I was wondering why there weren't colonists in these provinces. Let's see, the next colonial trade region... Say this one. Just boom, boom, boom. So I'll take this province and then go down here and siege down their capital. Calusa is finished. Nice. Excellent. Rice is now produced in this territory. I think rice is 0.5. Yeah. So it's basically just like corn, but, you know, rice. It's corn that's not corn. This increases one a month. One a month, 1548. So I got eight years. I imagine my unrest will go down below that. So they gave me another... Oh, yeah, they gave me this province. Cool. So that'll be another 22,000 for my new colonial nation when they form. That's a nice start. They actually have a lot of men. They have low tech level though, so... I don't think it'll be that hard to keep them away. They're just hiding down here. I 
had two colonies finished, so I could send a second colonist. At least I should be able to. Let's recall that one. And that one. Send right there and right there. Alright. Let's move these guys down. make peace with that country. I'm actually going to dump this guy. My other ships are protecting trade. No, they just stop. I don't know why they do that. Might be a war thing. Let's add these provinces to the company. Wallachia has been designated into a march by their overlord empire, the Romans. Well then. So they actually, they won that war then. They won that war and they have Wallachia as a march now. That's good. That'll help out. Build some extra troops. No need for a great palace. I think I'll wait before I conquer the other half of the island to get my war exhaustion down. I 
Alright, so if I if I annex this guy first, these guys should fight each other. And take each other out. There we go. I think all these guys are allied with each other. So if I attack this guy, it wouldn't call in this big old country over here. So I'm going to leave these guys over here to take out that guy. And then these guys can take out... Yeah, for some reason those uh, light chips are stopping. I'll add these to the trade company. Ooh, I could proclaim a holy war and lose two war exhaustion. Yes, I will. That should get rid of this. Uh, delayed salaries. Yeah, just pay the elite troops. Can I get some manpower? That's kind of making me nervous that I'm not getting manpower. Do this. Uh, it's one. These guys will go over here. I'll just split these in half. They're gone. Where is this province? Hey, perfect. Well, that's going to take... I'm going to have to keep this for a long time. It's only one development, though. Unlike this province, which is eight developments. This will be done in about two years. This one should be done in two months. Probably a month, actually. Right now.
Or not. Next month. Alright, so this did go away. My overextension is apparently dangerously high. That's fine. I have some rebels. They're not going to rise up for a while, though. I have a month before I can declare war. Let's watch the uh, colony form. Hey, there we go. Colonial Southeastern America. New Crunia. Well, I do have Crunia. Uh, so... Yeah, that's fine. I'll probably call the other one New Biscaya after my regional cities. I'm just going to call it Crunia, though. I don't really like the new parts. They gave this... Okay, this province was actually theirs, so that's perfect. Uh, it's not perfect that they made that their capital. Hopefully they change that. So now just the other one is this one. I have eight colonists, which is my limit. And yeah. All right. So the rest of the conquering of Madagascar. Oh, okay, well the problem is, if I call in any one of these guys... It's gonna call in Manabe. Manabe as well, so... So I need to declare war on somebody... Probably Manabe. And that won't call in Bitsolo. So then I can annex these two guys and this guy immediately after I conquer their territory. So let's declare war on them. I need these troops up to the, uh, to go to the north, so... Alright, Craftsman District was built by the Burgers. Perfect.
All right. They have 16 tech, so they shouldn't be able to fight these 3,000. That's their capital up there. Oh, okay, they got called in anyway. Because they were allied with somebody. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, I don't. I just want to kill them all at the same time, so I don't want to wait. They're tech sixteen. Cotton, perfect. Once I captured this province, so free up those 3,000 men. Once I get this fort, I'll go down here and probably fight them. Sucks that I didn't grab this. One of these sieges has to go. Let's grab that province. Better by separatists. What separatists? Cause that that matters. Let's get that claim on that province. Take the guy back from the Pope and request a promotion to Empire. Hopefully. He says yes, otherwise I, I think I'll suffer a prestige hit. God damn it. I was 150 relations. They they never accept that for me. Ah, damn Pope. I was thinking, you know, plus 150 allied with the guy. He would accept. Alright, so those guys are on the same province now, so if I take the fort... I'm gonna send the cannon down south. It'll be quicker just to uh, transport these guys over there.
Once I capture this, they should fight each other. Let's put a couple diplomats back on outrage countries. Maze in that province. It's fine. A couple of colonies are almost finished. Now they're walking away from each other. Stay together. You have strength in numbers. Oh, that's not great. Internal conflicts in the Empire of the Romans. The reason why, if you're wondering, I didn't conquer provinces from Zanzibar is that they're pretty far spread out and they don't really have any high province. They don't have any one province that is has a high amount of trade power. So I figured just conquer Madagascar, eliminate other people in the trade node while increasing my share. I thought that was the best way. I'm going to recall all of these guys. Alright, so I don't want to colonize these two provinces, just these four. Yeah, that's fine. Um, this one might take a couple years to complete, but I'll send them all at the same time. that guy. Add him to the trade company. Kill this guy. Thank you very much. Thanks for playing. Better luck next time. And then I'll just pick off Manabe once they win. Perfect. 
the cannon go over there, the ships go there. Everybody else goes up there, and then the conquest of Madagascar will be finished. After I take this province. Build the marketplace in that province. So this colony finished. I'm just waiting on this one. 921. Hopefully it takes about a year. 66 settlers. There's a colonist presence. I only have 20 days before I have to pay. Let's get those guys back on outreach countries. So protecting in East Africa is not really working, so these guys should go somewhere else and protect. Well, now they can protect in the Ceylon. I'll try that. See if that works. Got the ship rates. Am I still... F I'm five over? No. Okay, there we go. I'm just one over now. And now I'm at my naval force limit. Perfect. You go there, you go there. I take everything. And there it is, beautiful. Castilian Madagascar. Alright, so that's going to be it for this part. I uh, conquered all of Madagascar in two wars. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.